Hey there. So today I'm going to walk you through how to reconstitute a suspension of medication uh, when you receive a medication that's in a powdered form and needs to be in a liquid form. An example of this is Clavamox and that's what we're using today. There may be some other medications that you'll receive that do the same thing and it'll be the same process but there might be slightly different measurements in how much water you would add. That being said, each drug that you get that you would need to do this will have an informational sheet that'll walk you through exactly what I'm about to walk you through now and tell you step by step how to make it into a suspension. Also, we will give you the medication along with a large syringe that will be labeled with the number of milliliters of water that you need to draw up. Also, when you open the package, you will receive not only the powdered drug in its bottle, but also a dosing syringe for your pet that is labeled with their dose and a plastic stopper that we'll talk about in just a bit. So the first thing that I would recommend doing is shaking the bottle to loosen the powder up. That way it's not clumped at the bottom for when you add the water to it. And then I would draw up your water. So you can have water in a dish, a cup, and you'll put your syringe in and draw up a bunch of water. Trying to avoid air bubbles if we can. We're going to make sure we get it right to that 14 milliliter mark. All right. So as you can see here, I've drawn up 14 milliliters of water to the mark that was labeled for you. Then we're going to open the bottle that contains the drug. And there's going to be a safety seal on top of it. These can be pretty challenging to get off sometimes. So you can use a scissor to puncture a hole in it. And then peel off the safety seal like so. Once you have the safety seal removed, it's going to look a bit like this. Then you will go ahead and you will add the 14 mils that you just measured of water into the bottle. No water is left in here. And then you will take the stopper, and it takes a good bit of force, but you will push the stopper all the way down into the bottle until that it, it is flush with the top of the bottle. Then you will replace the cap and give this a very, very good shake. And now, this is good for 10 days. It needs to stay in the refrigerator and you need to shake it before each use. So, what you can do is you can, what we'll do is we'll mark the expiration date for 10 days from now. So that will be 6, 21, 20. And we'll make sure that we stick this in the fridge and shake it before each dose that we give to our patient.